it's Daisy aka Clucky Games, that was like a really weird intro and before I start this video I just want to give you guys a quick life update. Look at my hair, it's like everywhere, it's like a lion's mane isn't it? It's not even like my hair, I could use it as clothing and just cover myself in it and keep myself nice and warm. So that was really weird. I just want to apologise for the lack of videos the past few weeks, or when I say weeks I really mean like months because I have been in exams and I've had to revise for exams and I just haven't had time to like it's not so much the filming the videos it's the editing the videos they can take a long time especially if it's like story driven games and like the sims games take so long because I record for like three hours and then have to like edit three hours worth of footage and that's so long at this very moment in time right now when I'm filming this, I am in the middle of my exams. I have one more exam to go, which is like less than a week away, and then after that I should be back on track, so hopefully, um, by the time this comes out, a few more videos should hopefully be out. Yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> Woohoo! And there was something else I was meant to tell you. Oh, I remember now. I recently put up two videos of uh, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess walkthrough. Um, or like, like let's play sort of thing, it wasn't really much of a walkthrough, walkthrough. but um, I then deleted them off my channel mainly because I first of all I got a copy I got a copyright strike for the music that was played from Nintendo which I totally understand. I also deleted it as well because the quality was so bad I actually filmed the screen on my on a camera and then I got my new camera and I started filming the screen and then whenever I would move, the camera would move. And like, it was really strange. The camera wasn't really, didn't really understand the fact I was filming a TV screen and that there was a character moving on the TV screen so the camera would get really confused and it'd start like moving about all over the place. It wasn't great. This is the problem I was having. Look, if you look at my camera, I'm gonna move over here, over here, over here, over here. Over here, over here, and you can you see the camera moves with me as well. So it's like, stop it, <laughs> okay? I'm trying to film. Does it move up and down? Yeah, it does. That's really weird. So I decided in the end just to delete it and wait until I get my capture card, which I'd hopefully be coming very soon when I can afford one. But anyway, on to today's video slash vlog thing. I haven't really done anything like this like a fax video or anything, so I thought it would be quite nice. Because I recently watched uh, The Three Ginger Sisters and it was Cam's birthday in like the middle of May and she put a video up going 17 favourites for 17 years and that inspired me to do one for my birthday because today it's my birthday! What? It's my birthday, it's my birthday, I must spend my money. Da, 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 I don't know the words of this song. When you're watching this, it will, well, hopefully, when this uploads, I'm hoping it'll upload in time, it will be the 15th of June, and it'll be my 18th birthday. Yeah, right now when I'm filming this, it's not my birthday. I've still got like two weeks to go. Here are my 18 favourites for 18 years. Let's go. Reading. Like, I love reading. I really wish I'd spent more time reading when I was younger because I'm kind of more getting into it now that I'm growing up a lot more. But especially, I find reading so entertaining because when you've got stuff going on in your life, and especially obviously right now I'm in the middle of my exams, it's really nice just to sit down for about an hour or so or just before I go to bed or in the bath or whatever and just read a book because then all my troubles and stress just goes and it's really nice to have that happen because then I'm in someone else's shoes, I'm in someone else's world especially that's the reason why I like um, Harry Potter so much is because, you know, it's a fantasy land. Like, I'll do anything to go to Hogwarts. It's so cool. And, you know, it's sort of like a... It's like a gateway to another world, really. Naked Blue Smoothie. Wait, that's not the right thing. Naked Smoothies. Especially the Blue Machine ones. I've just been recently been introduced to those. 
and I really like them. Number three is makeup. Now, I am a bit of a tomboy, not gonna lie. Um, so, but I do have quite a bit of a girly side to me. And when it comes to girly side, I mean, like, makeup. I love makeup. I like buying new makeup products, especially even if it's just like I've run out foundation and I go to the shop and I get my normal foundation. I get so excited. I'm like, yes, I can't wait to put this new foundation on. Awesome. I don't know why. <laughs> I just get so excited. I get so many people at school go to me. Oh yeah, how can you put makeup on every day? That's so much effort. I couldn't do that. And I was like, well, I can't leave the house without makeup on because I it kind of brings my confidence down. And like wearing makeup brings my confidence up. I feel like I look decent in makeup. I feel like I'm myself in makeup, okay? Even at home, I sometimes put the odd bit of concealer on or foundation on because I look, I go past a mirror and I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh no. No, 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 I don't like it. And it really actually puts my confidence down. I don't care if I get called fake or anything. It's just, I'm, at the end of the day, if I want to wear loads of makeup, I will wear loads of makeup. Because it makes me feel better and happy about myself. And I know there's a lot of people out there going, oh, but I bet you look really pretty without makeup on. Or, um, you know, you should feel happy not to wear makeup and don't worry about people looking at you. But, like, when you have anxiety and stuff, that doesn't help at all. This just took a really dark path, hasn't it? I've gone from talking about being really excited about makeup to like self-confidence and anxiety. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? <laughs> Doc Martens and Converse are my favourite shoes in the entire world. I have so many shoes. I have like gladiator shoes and sandals and trainers but all I wear is Doc Martens and Converse. I only have about three pairs of Doc Martens and four pairs of Converse and I live in them and I just wear the same ones every single day. Um, this one was introduced to me uh, like probably like this time last year and that is cosplaying. I was never really a fan of cosplaying, or well, not that I wasn't a fan, I just didn't really know about it and I knew people like to dress up and go to these events but I never really thought about doing it and I sort of watched a few videos online, especially Super Merry Faces videos and Saucy Cosplays and they like really inspired me to start cosplaying and I actually really enjoy it, it's a good chance for me to be creative, I can you know, don't get me wrong, I am crap at like sewing and making my own clothes, so I usually cos it cosplay, because that's like the best way to it, because then you can use whatever's in your wardrobe, or you can go out to charity shops and buy loads of clothes and like just draw on them or design them yourself, whatever, and I think like that's a really good way for me to be creative, because another, like the main reason why I love cosplaying is that there's no right or wrong way to cosplay. So you can be a character and you can dress however you like as that character. Because you can add your own twist to it. You can add like, you can be like Harley Quinn steampunk. Or other things as well. I need to stop mentioning Harley Quinn. <laughs> 21 Pilots. Obviously, I love, freaking love 21 Pilots. Um, this is new for me as well. I heard their song Car Radio like ages ago and I did quite like it and I was like yeah you know this is quite a catchy tune oh my battery's dying oh. I really enjoyed listening to Stress Out and then so I thought do you know what I like that song let me go and see what other songs they do so um, I listened to the album one day when I was just cleaning my room up and I'm one of those people who prefers listening to the lyrics than to the music like, don't get me wrong the music plays a huge part but I focus more on the lyrics and I like songs that I can relate to and I feel like 21 Pilot songs there are so many people out there that can relate to them and it, some of the lyrics are quite dark but they're sung in like with a fun beat and in a fun way and you know they're just like both of them are incredible writers like it's insane okay I've had to move because my camera died so I had to like move the camera around <laughs> that leads me on to my next point which is my favourite song, which is is surprisingly 
not a 21 pilot song. Hmm. And sorry, I'm trying to get like comfortable. There we go. <laughs> My favourite song is She's So Lovely by Scouting for Girls. It just brings back a lot of memories of me growing up and stuff. And every time I listen to it, no matter what mood I'm in, it always gets me into a good mood because it's such a happy, upbeat song. I love it. Jumpers. Mm. I love my jumpers. If you know me well, I live in jumpers and I mean like I don't ever leave them. And I went through my wardrobe the other day. It turns out I have over 20 jumpers. I think I figured out as well, I have more jumpers than I have tops. I seriously need help. Number nine is a show on Netflix. On Netflix. 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 It's a show on Netflix I have recently become to liking. And that is iZombie. Now, I say Netflix. It's probably on TV somewhere in America. I, it's not over here. Well, I haven't seen it over here anyway. If you don't know what it is, it's about a girl who turns into a zombie and then has to eat brains of dead people to help solve crimes. And it's actually very interesting and there's quite a few like plot twists in it and there's like a love life relationship in it and it's very me because it's about like zombies and sci-fi and stuff my social need me my favorite <sighs> my favorite social media platform is twitter this year anyway um i'm not a huge fan of facebook even though i go on it like every day <laughs> It's easier for people to get noticed on Twitter than Facebook because Facebook is just endlessness of loss and then Twitter is like easy way I was like oh yeah I'm gonna tweet you I don't know where I'm going with this so I'm gonna stop talking now <laughs> yay like I mentioned earlier during cosplaying you might have noticed that my favorite character in like the DC or Mar I was gonna say Marvel but she's not Marvel in like the comic book superhero villain world is Harley Quinn. I love villains. I really do. I'm I am more of a villains girl than I am a heroes girl. Harley Quinn is such a badass. She does not give a flying monkeys and she's so cool. Like the way she dressed can sometimes be a tiny bit revealing, but she has a cool sense of style. Like come on. Okay, you can't you can just see her feet there. I've got a huge poster of her right there. Make sense? Yeah. I don't know. You guys are probably just thinking, what on earth is she going on about? Right, next one. Leading back on to the subject of makeup, it's my eyeliner. Oh, and I, I'm happy with my eyeliner. I like it, even if it is like. I don't know if you can see this. It is ridiculously thick. But you know, that's just how I like it. Florida. I love. Florida. It's like my favourite place to go in the entire world. I haven't been for a few years, but I did go six years in a row. That is a lot, <laughs> okay? One of my good friends is currently out there at the moment, and she put on her Snapchat story that she was in Orlando, Universal, I mean, and she's in Harry Potter world, and it's making me really upset that I can't go. Here are some of my favourite YouTubers, uh, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Super Mega, Game Grumps, uh, Super Mary Face, Saucy Cosplays, Luke is Not Sexy, Emma Blackery. Six and a half hours later. Rhett and Link, Three Ginger Sisters, Zelda Master, Dodger. Eventually. The list goes on, okay? I don't just have one favourite YouTuber because that would just be impossible to narrow it down. Okay? Performing! Um, I was going to split this into two ones, like two favourites, but I decided to put it as one because it would make more sense. But when I say performing, I mean like singing and dancing. I have been brought up in like a musical family. My whole family are very music related, especially my nan. She used to be a part of um, my local pantomime society and I used to watch her when I was growing up and it really inspired me to go on stage 
and do lots of singing and lots of dancing. And so last year, I joined the same pantomime society and I was only in the chorus, but that was really cool anyway. I got a lot of singing parts and dancing. I had, um, we did Peter Pan this year, so I was the role of the mermaid. That was a lot of fun. Um, and I really enjoyed it and because of it I've made loads of new friends and you know it's really brought my confidence up and it's made me realise actually how much I love being on stage and how much I love entertaining people. So yeah! I love Disney! I am a huge kid and I mean big kid. And it doesn't help, I have a lot of younger cousins who are constantly watching Disney films. So it's like my excuse to watch loads of Disney films. It's so like my friends would come around or something and i put a film on and the last film I'd be watching would be like Big Hero 6 and one of my friends would be like Daisy, why the heck are you watching Disney films for? They're for kids. Um, uh, my cousins are around. That's why. Which would be absolute rubbish because I was just watching it by myself because I love Disney films. Second to last is gaming. Obviously, I love gaming. And I have to probably say the same reason why I like reading. It's like an escape from the real world and I'm putting myself in someone else's shoes. That's why I really enjoy story-based given, story given games, yeah? Story-based driven games. And like I said, like with reading, I put myself in someone else's shoes and, you know, I can be that character and it's like an escape from the real world. Just the storylines of the game, like really it driven into you and it really hits here. Hits home. Ow, that really hurt. And I need to... <coughs> Bless me. Last but not least, and for obvious reasons, YouTube! Now, I know I mentioned just a few of my favourite YouTubers earlier, but I thought I'd go into a bit of detail why I like YouTube so much. Um, and that's because I love the fact Again, like gaming and reading, it's escape from a real. It's, it's for me, it's an escape from the real world. I can watch people play games. You know, I can watch people be like act like absolute bloody idiots. You know, I don't know why, and I think there's a lot of people who probably feel the same way. But it's just, it makes me happy a lot, and especially watching people like Mark Pry and the Game Grumps, especially the Game Grumps, man, they are so funny. You know, some of their content that they create is just so funny and it's just like, oh man, you know, I wish I had a friendship like that or something, or, oh man, that's really cool, I want to do that. And the reason why, I don't know where I'm going with this, I'm going from one place to another. I could be, I could sit here all day and talk about YouTube, but let me just say this one last thing. The reason why I do YouTube is purposely, the reason why everyone else does YouTube, well, the reason why the majority of people do YouTube, and that is to entertain people. Like, I'm not in it for the money or the subscribers. Like, I've only got 62 subscribers and I barely get any views. But, you know, that really doesn't affect me because I'm doing it and I'm making videos because I enjoy doing it. I don't care if no one sees them. I don't care if people hate them. I'm still going to do it because it's something I enjoy doing. And if I get a career out of it, great. That would be, like, amazing. I've actually got a portfolio channel which you can click right here to have a look if you want to, or where either side it's on. Um, and I've put a lot of, quite a few of those videos that are on my portfolio channel are on my gaming channel and I also, I sent them my portfolio and I should know, I should tell you guys who I'm talking about because I'm just saying you them. I recently obviously replied to university and I sent off my portfolio channel and my gaming channel and they really, really liked the fact that I was making videos and editing and doing loads of things media-wise outside of school. And they said that's actually really good because it shows how committed you are to making videos. So because of those two channels, I should hopefully, if I get the grades, fingers crossed, be going off to university in like two, three months. How exciting is that? And just because of YouTube. Yeah, that was my 18 favourites for 18 years. I feel like I have blabbled on for quite some time. Um, along with this video, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna post this blog. I'm gonna post this video on the blog, and then I'm actually gonna write more in detail about each of my favourites. If you guys are interested in reading, so I'll leave a link down below in the description to my blog. 
um, if you're interested in why they're my favourites and a little bit more about the history I have with them, if that makes sense. I don't know. Just why I really enjoy them. <laughs> also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Clark It's Clarky Games and subscribe. Yeah. I should do my outro now, that would be great. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you liked it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're feeling very generous today because that would make me very happy. Yay! And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye bye! Obviously, in the box. It's in the box, I can't even show you. So rubbery. This is it, it's really weird, funny production here. Oh, my hand's hurting now. I should stop.